Beloved, spiritual sleep is likened to spiritual death. So go back to your first love before it is too late. Good morning, my YouTube fans. Today is a time for another devotion in the presence of God. By the special grace of God, we are looking at the topic that says, While men slept, part three. While men slept, part three. Let us pray. Blessed Redeemer, we thank you. We appreciate you this morning. We bless your name. We magnify your name. Be thou exalted in Jesus' name. Lord, your children are here. God, Dad, this morning to have their devotion, their daily devotion with you. Lord, come and impart on us. We pray that you help every one of us, that as many of us that are sleeping, that are spiritually dead, Lord, woke us up, woke us up from that slumber in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us to be spiritually active at all times in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. We are looking at while men slept. Our memory verse is taken from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 6. And it says, Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us wash and be sober. We must wash and pray. That's what the Bible says. We must not sleep like others. We must be watchful. We must be prayerful. We must watch and be sober at all times. According to the remaining part of that 1 Thessalonians 5, from that 5, um, verses 5 to 9, it tells us that we are the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. A child of light does not have any place in darkness. You are not the children of darkness, but of light. You are children of day. So we must bear that in mind. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. When you watch and you're sober, you cannot be taken on away. I mean, you'll be spiritually alert at all times because you are watching as well as you are praying. You conquer the physical, you conquer the spiritual. The Almighty God will help us to be spiritually alert in Jesus' name. Amen. For they that sleep, sleep in the night. And they that be drunken are drunken in the night. So, nocturnal activities is not meant for the children of God. During the nocturnal hours, that is the time that you have your rest in your God-given home. It's not meant for you. Nocturnal people are involved in all sorts of things. May the Almighty help us not to live such lives in Jesus' name. And the last verse says, For God had not appointed us to rot, but to ob obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Death is likened to sleep, according to 1 Corinthians 15 verse 51. In other words, a believer who is spiritually asleep is actually in a state of spiritual death. If you are spiritually asleep, you are at the same time spiritually dead. You cannot be spiritually alert and you'll be spiritually asleep. No, the two are two contrary things. They are opposite each other. So is it that you are spiritually awake, spiritually alive, or spiritually dead? It is my prayer that you and I will not be spiritually dead in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. According to our text, our text tells us clearly that we should stay awake spiritually. 
we must be watchful as children of God and we must be sober. According to Matthew 24, 42, it says, You must stay awake and be watchful for you do not know what day your Lord is coming. The time of the coming of our Lord is sudden. Like I usually tell my class, it is more sudden than sudden itself. Because in the twinkle of an eye, the Lord will come. You will not know. So therefore, as a child of God, you are admonished to be watchful. You must be sober. You must be watchful at all times so that this will not be taken on our ways. So that when our Lord comes, you will not be surprised. You will not be disappointed because you are spiritually alert. You are balanced. You are expectant. You are ready. Praise the Lord. Some believers keep going in, according to our daddy in the Lord, they keep going in out of spiritual sleep. In and out, in and out. That is what the Bible describes as lukewarm, neither hot or cold. What did the Bible say? The Lord said that he will spill you out of his mouth if you are neither hot or cold. You are one leg here and one leg there. No, that should not be heard of a Christian. You must know whom you serve and you follow him all the way. Some people feel that it is normal to be cold and hot. I think the Lord said that he pities such people. Such people must be pitied because their end is not usually good. We saw a good example in the life of Samson. Samson who slept and woke up a number of times. But the last sleep put him into the hands of his enemies. You may have slept a few times before and woken up again. However, you had better stop because there is a last one, the last sleep. The last time a man will sleep and wake up to find himself being tortured by the enemy. So if you use to love God with all your heart. But recently, other things have been occupying you. You have given that time, that love you have for God for other things. Other things has become the priority in your life. And our Lord Jesus Christ has become the second best, the alternative. When there is time, when I think I can make out time now. That is the lie of the devil, my beloved. Let the Almighty remain your first love all the time, anywhere, anytime. Do not interchange it. Do not make him your second best. He did not make you your second best when he decided to die for your sin. He died for your sin, beloved. The Almighty God died for your sin. He died for you and I. So why will you make him your second best? Think about it today. Ponder over it and begin to take the rightful action. And when the Almighty God shines on you, see everything the devil, the devil has stolen during your time of slumber shall be restored and you will become a better person at the end of the day. Are you hoping for that? Do you believe that? I believe that. That the Almighty God will shine His light on me. I want you to say it to yourself. Say that the Almighty God will shine His light on me, on you, so that everything that the devil has stolen from you during your days of slumber, all those things shall be become a thing of the past shall be put to an end this day in Jesus name amen remember spiritual sleep is likened to spiritual death and that must not be your portion in Jesus name 
Amen. Our hymn for today is ancient words. Holy words long preserved for our work in this world. Let us sing it throughout the day. You can hum it when you're at work, in your business place, in your schools, whatever you're doing. Just try to sing this hymn of the Lord. It's the hymn of the day and it will make your day in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to specially appreciate all my returning subscribers. For those who have been subscribing to my channel, I truly appreciate every one of you. May the good Lord bless you abundantly in Jesus' name. For those who are yet to subscribe, please, what are you waiting for? Do hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Feel free to share with your friends and family. And the good Lord will surely bless you. Subscribe. Like. Share. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do have a great day. It is bye.